Little Blue Trucks Valentine by Alice Shirtle. Little Blue Truck was on his way delivering cards on Valentine's Day. Blue felt happy. For truth to tell, he hoped he'd get some cards as well. Blue drove into Hen's front yard with a polka dot egg-shaped Valentine's card. Blue said, beep, and Hen said, gluck. What a perfect Valentine, little blue truck. Pig's pink card said, please be mine. Beep, said Blue, and happy Valentine. Oink, said Pig, a pretty pink, just right for cards and pigs, I think. In his big red barn was Big Brown Horse, and Blue brought a big red card, of course. Nay, said Horse, what's this I see? A card almost as big as me. Whew. His card for cow had a big bouquet. Beep, said Blue, happy Valentine's Day. Moo, said the cow, what a treat. A card that's good enough to eat. True. Two last cards for goat and sheep with candy heart. Beep, beep, beep. Meh, said she. Sweet card, Blue. Meh, said goat. <laughs> Mine is too. Blue headed home and all the way he tried to be glad it was Valentine's Day. Aww. But Valentine's Day didn't seem much fun when he didn't get cards from anyone. His own front door was open wide. Home at last, Blue drove inside. Together now, croaked Toad. Let's hear it. Quack it, cluck it, oink it, cheer it. Hip, hip, hooray for it from Let's True. You're our Valentine, little Blue. A unicorn named Sparkle and the perfect Valentine. It's Valentine's Day, and there's a party, said Lucy. I'm going to make cards for our friends. I will tell each friend what I love about them. She got busy. Don't worry. No one expects a Valentine from a unicorn, so my cards can be from both of us. There were a lot of things Sparkle loved about Lucy. He loved her curly black hair. He loved her great big laugh. He loved that she loved him best of all. But how could he tell her all that? Maybe he could make a card and surprise her. He took some paper and paint and snuck off to work in secret. As a unicorn, Sparkle was great at a lot of things. He could make rainbows shoot out of his horn. He could eat 20 cupcakes at a time and not get sick. And he could poop glitter. But he had never made a card before, and he didn't know how. He cut a heart shape with his cut a heart shape with his horn. It was harder than he thought. He kept trying until he got one that was okay. He didn't know how to write, so to say that he loved Lucy's curly black hair, he made a hoof mark. To say that he loved her great big laugh, he made another hoof mark. And to say that he loved her best of all, he made a third hoof mark. He pressed so hard that it tore the paper. The card was all done. It looked so good to Sparkle, but then Lucy said, Look, Sparkle, I wrote a poem for Shayla. Shayla, Shayla, sweet as pie, be my friend or I will cry. Let's be friends forevermore and play till we are 94. Lucy and Sparkle. I wrote poems for all of our friends. Sparkle realized that his Valentine wasn't done after all. It needed a poem. He tried his best. He dipped his horn in the paint and made a squiggly line on the card. As he did that, he thought of the poem. Sometimes I'm smelly, sometimes I'm a pest, but I'll always love you the best of the best. There, now his card was done. Sparkle, called Lucy. It's time to go to the party, come on. As soon as they got there, Sparkle could see that all the other cards were much, much fancier than his. Next to the others, Sparkle's card looked messy and torn. It didn't have any glitter or lacy trim on it. The writing wasn't even real. When he thought no one was looking, he stuffed it into the trash. 
But Lucy saw him and said, What are you doing? She pulled the card out of the basket. It had a bit of frosting on it and was crumpled up. Lucy looked at the funny-shaped heart. She looked at the hoof marks and the torn paper. She looked at the swiggle. She said, Did you make this, Sparkle? Sparkle hung his head. For me? Sparkle nodded. Even though Lucy didn't understand what the card said, she understood what it meant. It meant that Sparkle loved her best of all. She laughed at her great big laugh and said, I love this. It's perfect. Sparkle felt like the luckiest unicorn in the world. To celebrate, he danced on the table and shot rainbow stars out of his horn. There was, one, there was a star for everyone. Then he ate 21 cupcakes. They were delicious. Lucy said, I made a special card for you, Sparkle. Lucy read Sparkle the poem. I love cupcakes, rainbows too. But best of all, I love you forever and ever, Lucy. It was perfect too. Click clack moo, I love you. It is Valentine's Day on the farm, but there is work to be done before the big dance. To keep the pigs healthy, Farmer Brown cleans the pig pen. To keep the donkey happy, Farmer Brown stocks the stable. To keep the animals safe from foxes and raccoons, Farmer Brown mends the fence. Little Duck worked hard too. She tied balloons to everything. She hung streamers from everything. She strung sparkling lights in between everything. She made hearts out of anything that she could find. When Little Duck was finished, the, there was paint on her face, glitter in her wings, and a valentine for everyone. That evening, Little Duck greeted each guest at the door. The chickens arrived first. Little Duck handed each chicken a valentine. The chickens handed her a casserole. The pigs arrived next. Little Duck handed each pig a valentine. The pigs handed her chips and salsa. The sheep arrived fashionably late. She handed each sheep a valentine. The sheep headed right for the chips and salsa. The cows had a more formal affair and were out for the evening. Join us for the second annual Divine Bovine Ball. Formal attire, please. When the music came on, the chickens danced with the chickens. The pigs danced with the pigs. The sheep danced with the sheep. And the mice did the hustle. On the other side of the fence, at the top of the hill, a little fox heard the music. She perked up her ears and called, Yip, yip, yip! Nobody answered, but there were streamers in the trees. Little fox climbed down the hill. She called, Yip, yip, yip! Nobody answered, but there were balloons to lead the way. Little fox trotted down to the fence. She called, Yip, yip, yip! Nobody answered, but there was a trail of hearts to follow. So Little Fox dug a hole. Little Fox arrived at the barn covered in streamers and glitter. She called, yip, yip, yip. The chickens stopped dancing. The sheep stopped dancing. The pigs stopped dancing. The mice hustled right out into the hay. Little Fox called again, yip, yip, yip. Little Duck was not scared. She greeted the new guest, quack, quack, quack. She handed Little Fox her last valentine. Little Fox handed her a valentine right back. Yip, yip, yip. Quack, quack, quack. Duck turned the music up. Yip, quack, yip, quack. Yip, quack, quack. The chickens danced with the sheep. The pigs danced with the chickens. And the mice kept right on hustling. Everybody danced with everybody until the cows came home. If you were my valentine, if you were my valentine, I would jump, jump with joy. If you were my valentine, I would snuggle your shivers away. If you were my valentine, I would share the grandest views with you. If you were my valentine, I would play hide and seek and peek with you. If you were my valentine, I would make your day sweeter than sweet. If you were my valentine, I would share hidden treasures with you. If you were my valentine, 
I would soar high in the sky to share a message with you. If you were my Valentine, I would lean in until our love becomes one. If you were my Valentine, I would announce it with a bigger than big splash. If you were my Valentine, I would wrestle and tussle and tumble with you. If you were my Valentine, I would hold you until you drifted off to dreamland. If you were my Valentine, I would stay up all night with you. If you were my Valentine, I would catch the moon and the stars for you. If you were my Valentine, there's something you should hear. You would be my Valentine every day of the year.